Taps inside and the Wolves with the basket. Forrest Olivier with the bucket. Number 24, Spencer Schulte holds. Brett Eisenjing passes to Mitchell Worm. Mitchell Worm stuff. And the play really starting to get sloppy here. Jump ball. The possession arrow will go to the Wolves, I believe. Yep. The ball will go to the Wolves. 66-33. The Wolves have doubled up the Spartans on the Spartans' home floor. You know, the Wolves simply with too much size and too much athleticism for the Spartans. Kevin Noreen holds. Dribbling the ball around now. He's met by Joan Isaac Jake. Quickly gets it back. Nice little move around and the layup good. And a timeout called on the play. I think this is where you'll see them check out. And you know, I was thinking about this as they were playing. I think the reason that might have uh, these big men in is kind of to pad their stats, but also to build build a resume as Kevin Noreen is a Mr. Basketball hopeful. You know, you'd love for your guy to average 25, 30 points. And yes, I think we're seeing some of the JVers getting ready to check back in for the Wolves. And the Wolves have uh, called off the dogs here as this game winds down to a close. Like a number of ninth and 10th graders getting in. A good experience for these players as they travel to the hostel floor of the Spartans. A very tough place for both teams to come in and win. But not only have the Wolves come in and won, but they have done so in dominating fashion here. They lead 68-33. to Eisenschenk unloads the three. Up no good. Schulte with the rebound. And the Spartans come so up with the pass. Number 13, Mitch Hopper. Spartans, Mitch Hopper with the basket. He gets some playing time in there. Hopper comes up with the steal, getting varsity minutes. Gets a basket and a steal here in the first few seconds. Big drive inside. Brett Eisenschenk and the foul with the basket. Nice play, Brett Eisenschenk. Ball on hold, number 11, Kevin Finn. Boy, big third. burst of speed by Brett Eisenschenk. You normally Kevin don't see that. Typically the Spartan shooter. And Eisenschenk good on the three-point play. Spartans trailing 30 with two and a half to go in the second half. Boy, you look at the Spartans bench and it's just a series of long faces. They've got to just forget about this game and, and look forward to the future. You know, this is a, a really good Wolves ball club here that came into their court. Wolves hold with two minutes to go. And they'll just cycle the ball around. Penetration inside. Acrobatic shot. No good. Mitchell Worm with the rebound. Just under two minutes to go in the ball game. Hopper left open for three. No good. Rebound to the Spartans. Schulte, no good. Ball tipped around. Finally, Mitchell Warren will come up with the basket. Minute and a half to go. Ball handed off. Once again. Looks as though the traveling violation called on the Wolves. Looks like some of the crowd's starting to clear out early a bit here. This one's all but over. Hopper passes back to Eisenschenk. Eisenschenk jump shot up, no good. But Schulte will control the rebound. Hopper passes it around. Number 25, Sean Terrace, no good. Good hustle inside by the Spartans. And Terrace will come up with all. Pass to Isaac Jake. Isaac Jake drives hard inside, no good. And finally, the Wolves come up with the rebound as they push the ball up. Court. We'll slow it down with just over a minute to go here. The ball hit off. Ball nearly stolen, and Terrace will come up with it. 
for Corey with one more chance for a basket. Spencer Schulte, head fake shot up, back iron no good, and boy, the Spartans just can't come up with the basket here at the end of the ball game. The shooting just not there tonight for Ricori. They're 30 seconds away from falling to the Minnesota Transitions Charter School. 20 ticks left. And Bob Brink will have to wait till tomorrow to go for career win number 900. We'll be back from the Ricori High School and we will be bringing you the action. Hopefully the Spartans will have better luck tomorrow as the Wolves make it a 30-point victory, 70-40 is your final as the Wolves easily handle the Spartans. A good display by the Wolves, Hector Lorene and Kyle Lorene really put on a clinic for the Minnesota Transition Charter School. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsors here tonight, Jill's Cafe. Be sure to stop in the Jill's Cafe for their delicious homemade pies. And we'd also like to thank Glory Cinema, our second half sponsor. Check out Glory Cinema's Facebook page. You can find them through our own Digilog Recorey 2 Facebook page. And while you're there, why don't you become a fan of their Facebook page? So thanks again to our sponsors. As we go final tonight, 70 to 40, the Wolves on top of the Spartans. We'll see you next time with our Digilog Network Game of the Week. I'm Dustin Williams for Dwayne Coos. See you next time, everybody. Bye.